Another farmer in Madhya Pradesh's Damo district killed himself after a pest destroyed his lentil crop. Now, this is the second suicide in the last 15 days and the third suicide in the last three months. In fact, a week ago, farmers had protested demanding compensation in the, in a, in the case of calamity. The government had promised action, yet nothing has happened. A promise that never was. The state cabinet met twice, yet not a word on farmers' problems. The chief minister is now on a vacation. On 22nd December, Chhatarpur's Aman Sahu, along with more than a lakh farmers from across the state, ended their two-day agitation that brought the capital Bhopal to a standstill after the government agreed to compensation for crops damaged by natural calamities. Aman Sahu lost his soya bean crop due to lack of rain. Now pests have damaged his arhar and chana crop, but no government survey of the damage so far. Default of one lakh loan that he had raised from private lenders is almost certain. For the first time in Madhya Pradesh, a whopping 60% of the Kharif crop failed due to lack of rain. 14 are power cuts. Fertilizer shortage only adds to the farm woes. I understand that some of the people who are going to get out of the way, they will get out of the way. According to National Crime Record Bureau, since 2005, 8,360 farmers have killed themselves. Madhya Pradesh is among the top five states in farmer suicide. The government has yet to act on its promises. With no deadline fixed and the crisis far from getting resolved, the farmers in Madhya Pradesh are only too desperate. With Om Prakash Tiwari in Chhatarpur, in Bhopal, Rubina Khan Shapu, NDTV.